Somos Ani Kabuti y estás viendo Live Prod. Hello music friends, what's up? Marcel Husser here, the Dutch guy. Welcome to Live Prog and welcome to a very special review. But I guess you can see that, that it's special. Um, and I have a lot of reasons for that and I'm gonna try to keep this review as short as possible but forgive me if it becomes a little bit longer because this is something really special and I really wanted to do something with it. Because in this video I bring you my review of La Cronicas de Enki or The Chronicles of Enki by Ypsilon. Ypsilon is a Spanish melodic metal band. They were formed in 2008, released a demo in 2009, released an EP called Zero in 2011 and after that they decided for their debut album they wanted to do something really special. They wanted to go all out and it took them about three years to work on it and the result is ready. In 2014 they are really proud to present their album. Unfortunately, as you can see, I don't have it. I don't have it in my hands because unfortunately there is no physical release of this album. Now, why? I will tell you later on. I came across this album quite unexpected. I visited the page of Sebastian Leverman, a guitar player and vocalist of the melodic metal band Orden Ogen, uh, and there uh, he is also a studio owner and he mentioned that you know he was working on a new album, uh, a long track of a, a debut album of a new band. That turned out to be Ypsilon. And I got in touch with uh, Manuel Couffre, the drummer of the band, through Facebook and well we you know started chatting a little bit and at a certain point he asked you know the album is done, we have the mastered files, would you like to listen to them and let us know what you think of it. So I said yeah sure I'm really curious of that. And, I got the files, it took a while before I had a chance to listen to them. But... When I listened to them, I was like, wow, this is fantastic, this is really amazing stuff. Despite the fact that the vocals are in Spanish, despite the fact of that, I really enjoyed the album and I gotta say I kept on listening to it and the more I listened to it the more I started to enjoy what I was hearing. So I thought you know I gotta do something with it. I really wanted to give these guys some support and do a review despite the fact that they don't have a physical copy of it. So you know made an exception do something nice for these guys because they are fantastic musicians. Um, for that album uh, they did not just have the band. They invited a few guests as well. Uh, a couple of vocalists and a guitar player. The guitar player is Fran Soler. Uh, and for the vocals they have uh, Gema Vau. She's a singer from the Spanish band Biosphere. Uh, we have José Vincente Brosetta of Opera Manga. Manga, I don't know for sure. Also a Spanish band. All these beautiful Spanish names. I hope I pronounced them correctly. And José Luis Campuzano from Baron Rojo or Red Baron. Uh, he is also part of the crew, uh, the vocalists on this album, La Cronicas de Enki or The Chronicles of Enki in English. Um, I gotta say, um, a very intriguing story, uh, a very intriguing album as well. It's a long album, it's almost 80 minutes of music, but at the same time when you play the album it doesn't feel like a long album because the band has proven to be uh, well very impressive musically especially for a debut album and I know you know I like it when there are bands that really blow you away with a debut album and not many bands do that this is one of them this is a band Ypsilon from Spain from Barcelona that blows you away with their debut album and I'm really impressed by that I mean when you start listening to the songs uh, you see how well they created them, uh, how interesting they make to listen to them and they mix in a lot of styles. I mean I mentioned melodic metal as well the kind of style the band plays but along the way they move into all different kinds of styles. You have there's moments where you have some pure power metal in it really fast with double bass with a nice there's an amazing tight rhythm section in the in the uh, band but also guitar wise there the guitar player and well there are two guitar players but wow, they, they, every song, you know, you're like, wow, this is amazing, this is fantastic. Heavy riffs, melodic parts, guitar solos, everything is there. All the ingredients 
to make a fantastic album. And despite the fact that it is this sci-fi mythical concept album, which quickly will say, oh, but that is stuff like Arian does as well. This does not sound like Arian. This does not sound like Aventasia. It does not sound like Episode or name any other band who does this. They sound like Ypsilon. And that is something I think is very good. That shows they are fantastic musicians, great songwriters. And they worked three years to create this album. So they did a very good job. Um, there are a lot of vocalists I mentioned. I mean, all together, uh, if you include uh, Manuel Solar, the original vocalist of the band, there are four vocalists. So they create again, you know, an amazing vocal dynamics in the album. But at the same time, there's a lot of room for the music. There's one instrumental track on the album called El Viaje. Uh, and, and there I, I had a feeling, you know, everybody needs to show off a little bit of what they can do. Uh, but you know, there the guys show how good they are. But in the rest of the album, uh, they still show how good they are in the way that they do it. Now, I mentioned those diff different musical styles. It, there's also this real nice element of progressive metal in it, where you have some more complex arrangements in the music, uh, there's a lot of symphonic elements in the music and that especially comes down to Jordi Longan, uh, the keyboard player of the band. I mean, wow, he really wowed me on this album. I was listening to it and I mean, I, I love really everything on it. I mean, the guitars impressed me, but the keyboards uh, really impressed me in the, in the way that they really create a grand sound. Sometimes really nice and spacey, some nice solos in there, but also some ambient parts and also some calmer parts because yes there is also a ballad on the album a uh, bit at the end uh, of the album but the album has 10 tracks track number nine is called revelation uh, and that is a real ballad where you just have piano and vocals and there they tone it down a little bit you know and create a softer atmosphere but throughout the album you know you they really blow your mind with how good they are how melodic it is the story captures you the music captures you uh, you have that part uh, there's this as i mentioned the vocals i mean the female vocals in it uh, that works very well i always like that very much when you have these male female duets in it you have that here as well uh, there are also some grunts in it uh, for example in the tracks rebellion or la ira de enlil you know there we have some more aggressive vocals in it so there's so much to enjoy in this album and as i said it is 18 minutes but it doesn't feel like a long album because of the way that they created it and then you come to that last track and you know the cliche they saved the best for last yes they did el destructor clocks 20 minutes and 45 seconds wow 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 awesome that track alone you know for that track alone you should buy the album but that would not do justice to the other tracks you should buy this album because of all the 10 tracks all the almost 80 minutes of music but that last track there everything comes together there they go all out they bring in the power metal the melodic metal the prog metal the symphonic metal you have the amazing vocals you have amazing keyboards <sighs> wow Too bad, you know, it's only available in digital form, but all I can say is go to their Bandcamp page. Right here. Right here you can find the link to the Bandcamp page and it's also in the description below. Check it out, there you can listen to the album and you can buy a digital version. That will help the band to hopefully create a physical release because and that is something I haven't mentioned, but if everything goes well with the recording of this review, you are already seeing many examples of it, the artwork of this album. The artwork is really phenomenal. Again, you know, they found an amazing artist or amazing artists. I'm not sure who did it, but um, to create these really beautiful visuals that go with the story of the music. And that, in, again, I say, you know, it is such a shame that this 
is not available as a physical release because the artwork is amazing. I would almost say you should have this on a vinyl because then you have the artwork, you know, really big. And that is something that this album and this artwork really deserve. So you can show your support by buying a download uh, on their Bandcamp page or on other digital platforms there are and, and you will support the band. I was going to tell you why there is no physical copy. The band financed this whole album themselves. They are at the point where they have a finished product. They have the mastered songs. They have the artwork. They have everything in place. But unfortunately they don't have a label. And the drawback is that they sing in Spanish. And that might be the reason why, especially here in Europe, labels are not really that keen on uh, you know, releasing an album from a Spanish band sung in Spanish because they might think that you know people will not like it. I gotta say uh, I enjoyed it despite the fact that Spanish and yeah sure it's not easy to sing along you know that makes it a little bit different but apart from that it is a phenomenal album so I think it's a real shame. I think these guys really deserve to have a CD out there that people can hold in their hands that they can look at the artwork that they can enjoy the tracks that they put on there because the band worked very hard for it. So again, you know, more reasons to support this band and for only 9 euros you can download a digital copy. So it's not a lot of money, you're supporting an amazing band with that. Hopefully, you know, there's one thing that might be shedding a little bit of hope at the horizon. Uh, the band is aiming to South America because of course, well, there are a lot of people speak Spanish so they might have more, uh, a bigger audience there that might be able to give them a record deal that they need to well, bring out a physical release and then of course they can also release it here in Europe. So that is something we can hope for but for now I say please support Ypsilon, listen to this album, I'm sure you will love it. I mean I'm ecstatic about that album, you can see that. I make no, no, no secret of that because wow this is a fantastic album, that's all I can say about it. Um, well that was what I have to say about that, so check it out on the Bandcamp, Ypsilon La Chronicas, La Chronicas del Enki. My Spanish is not that good. The Chronicles of Enki. Thank you for watching. If you like my reviews, you know, you can click subscribe here, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and you can stay up to date because there will be more albums to be reviewed by me, more great music coming your way. So thank you for watching, and I hope you will see me at a new review.